All right, so I got another comment on another video. I believe this guy's Justin Morgan. Nevertheless, Color TV, he asked a pretty good question here. He says, what makes you think the beast have been revealed? All right, so let's see if I can make this easy for somebody to understand. All right, so the beast of Daniel. Daniel talks about four beasts. And he, he uh, defines it as these great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. All right, so now he lists the first three kings, which is Babylon, the Medes and Persians, and the Grecia Empire. Okay. Now, let's see. Is there, I don't know if there's one verse that I could uh, point to. I, I forget exactly right there but if you read through Daniel it's only 12 chapters might take you um, what uh, an hour at best it takes me maybe a little bit just a little bit longer but um, in the book of Daniel excuse me in the book of Daniel he mentions these three kings kingdoms which is the first three beast of the four beast again Babylon the Medes and Persians and the Gre Greek Empire or what's called Grecia okay now the fourth beast is not mentioned why is this important because he talks about the four beast until the end of the world all right so in uh, you see this a uh, number of times in the book of Daniel. He's talking about the end. Uh, the end of the world, which is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. Okay. Now, how do we figure out who the fourth beast is? Well, we can figure that out by going to Luke chapter 2 reading the very first verse and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed so who is Caesar Augustus he is the Roman Emperor therefore we can deduce that the Greek Empire is no longer in power but now is the Roman Empire all right Caesar Augustus the Roman Emperor now, therefore, by deduction, we have to conclude that the Roman Empire is the fourth beast of Daniel. All right. Now, we can go to the book of Revelation and understand that the beast of Revelation is the fourth beast of Daniel, which is the Roman Empire. Now, there's an interesting um, phrase in here, whatever, interesting. There's a few uh, verses that say the same thing. But here in Revelation 17, verse 8, when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. This is the Roman Empire that was and is not and yet is because it transitioned into the Roman Catholic Church. In other words, it went from a physical empire into a spiritual empire. And that's why we see here the great horror, horror being a religion, uh, a whore is not the wife, but somebody that pretends to be the wife, right? Like a fake wife. The great whore that sits upon many waters. All right, and what's that mean? Many waters are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. So we see the great whore scattered all throughout the earth. We see Roman Catholicism scattered all across the earth. They are among 
peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. They claim over one over one billion followers, and uh, so it. When you have faith in the Word of God, when you have faith in the Bible that you hold in your hands, God will reveal these things for you. The secret to understanding the Word of God is faith. And you'll find out that faith is the key to everything. Okay, and I think that's it.